The ultimate membership box will be ours. The new pet shall be ours. Yes, you heard that right. I have gotten myself. That's right. You got. You heard it right. I have gotten myself the membership, which is necessary in order to get myself the new pets and the new ad awards. And now let's check out the previous month's ultimate membership box. All right. As you guys can see, it seems like we're getting ourselves the Lumen Bot and the lighting setup, which Prodigy had introduced a long time ago. So let's open up this box, get ourselves the Lumen Bot, equip these two pets, and level them up. Now obviously I'm expecting you guys already know about the Lumen Bots, but if you don't, let's equip it and tell you guys some stuff. Shmusha shmush shmush shmush. As you can see, this is the Lumen Bot. At level 1, it has itself 448 hearts, aka the same as the Aquastar Coral. On top of that, it's an electric type pet, and it's just a little bit of a redesign of the Luminite. But as you guys can see, it's a robotic version of it, and it, and it still doesn't appear to be in the pet book. Yeah, I guess this guy just doesn't exist in the pet book. Okay, I guess if that's what you wanted to do. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not mad. Anyways, now since this is an electric type pet, we shall be testing this out. And what other place than... We'll be testing it out over here. As you can see, we got ourselves a Lumen Bot, so let's test it out. Kaboom! Another battle has been engaged against a ti tiny girl. This time it's only a single tiny girl, and as you can see, the Lumen Bots will be able to cast two electric spells, and of course, on top of that, it will also be able to cast two water spells. Of course, it will have one water, it will have one electric and water spell, which will do an area damage, and one electric and water spell, which will do one person damage. Now let's check out this guy's attack animation. Yes. Thank you for doing your maths properly, question. You know, you get so frustrated when I see people do like those type of mistakes where it's like one plus one is two. Wait, no, that's correct. Like one plus one is three. And I'm like, no. Okay, now let's check out how the Aquastra Coral looks, right? Yeah. We've got our pet equipped. It has 600 health now. Anyways, we're casting our spell and the attack animation doesn't seem to differ too much from the Aquaster. It's just a recoloration of it. You know, you could have just gone a little bit of an extra length to make it look a little bit better, Prodigy. I mean, at least make it look like you did some effort. Come on, guys. This is why it's like the bed frame. But as you guys can see, we're casting our spell doing 4,000 damage, and now our opponent is almost dead, and we have ourselves two of the new items in game. Right, that is quite nice, and make sure you guys look out for my next video, because in my next video, we shall be starting our quest to get ourselves Magmischief, wait, no, we shall be get starting our quest to get ourselves Magmayhem, and the new epic. So without waiting further ado, let's get on straight to that, but before you do that, I have to end off this video. Alright guys, so that's all for this video, I hope you guys found this video informational, figured out how or where to get yourself the new pets from, obviously, the Lumen Bot and the Aquaster Coral. Right, so obviously you can get this from the membership box, and in order to get it from the ultimate membership box, it's approximately $1,900 a year. So if you guys can do that for Prodigy, we'll then buy the yearly membership, because it's cheaper than the monthly membership. This is not sponsored. But anyways, as you guys can see, this is actually how you get yourself these items. And on top of that, you can also get yourself the epics, which I will be considering as new pets as well. So yeah, that's a thing. But anyways guys, that's all for this video, I hope you guys found this video informational and entertaining, so please hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and give this video a humongous thumbs up, and I will be catching you all next time. One Dr. Genius out the house. Wait, there's an exclamation mark on my map. Oh, okay, it's and as you can I see, it says that our December membership box is here, it's only for members, and it seems like we've got ourselves some sort of pet and a sandcastle. Alright, let's open this up and see what we get. Ramp up your Prodigy Adventures with these ultra-rare and fantastic member-only items from this season's Ultimate Membership Box. Check back in the next season for more exciting items. Alright, so by seasons, they're referring to F once every month. And as you can see, we get ourselves the Aquaster Coral, which is a new pet, and some sandcastles. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see what's the deal about these sandcastles. You know, the Aquaster can sit back. I want to look at the sandcastles first, right? Yeah. And of course, out of my entire pet book, it seems like this pet is actually unavailable. Good job! They forgot to add it to the pet book, but as you can see, we've got ourselves the Aquaster Coral, and it looks like it's closely related to the Aquaster, so let me quickly find that. Aquaster, where are you? Okay, found it, yes. 
As you can see, so at level 1, the Aquastra Coral seems to have itself approximately... that It has approximately 448 hearts. It has a element of water. And now, let's test this pet out. Of course, before we do this, I also want to see what those sandcastles are. So let me search for that. It's not a ha ha hat item. It's not a robe item. It is not a wand. Not a relic ring. Not a boot. Not a buddy. Not a new item. It's not currency. It's not a mount. Alright, so conclusion is that that sandcastle tree got actually is a house item. Let's equip it and see how it looks like. Tree chop trance. Da da. Wait, what am I doing? Okay, let's edit our house and go all the way over here. Head to the very last bit. And just like that, as you can see, we've got ourselves a sandcastle that looks quite fancy, if you ask me. A sandcastle, indeed. Now, but no, that's not what we're here for. We're here to test out our pets, the Aquaster. Let's move this up front and see how- Since this is a water-type pet, I will be going to Bonfire Spire because that's where fire-type monsters spawn in. And on top of that, I think we can do two and two and one, but let's- where water mo where fire monsters spawn in. So let's go over here, battle this monster, and see what occurs. <clears throat> dun dun dun. Alrighty, so first of all, our aqu- Alrighty, so it seems like we can cast two water spells, one earth spell, and one ice spell. Now, of course, we can cast a multi-attack water spell, a multi-attack ice spell, and a one-person attack leaf spell along with a water spell. So, it seems like that that is really all that we have information about this pet. Now, let me quickly cast a spell using this guy. And just like that, you guys can see, this pet is not too bad. It did half of its health in damage to the opponent pet. So, I would consider that not too bad at all. And it seems like that compared to our opponents, we are actually far stronger as our opponents only did one-eighth of their health in damage. Now, of course, as you guys can see, our pet is, um, at the current moment, not ready for combat as its level is quite low. So let me quickly do something. But as you guys can see, this is the new pet which has been added to Prodigy, the Aquaster Coral. Now, of course, that's not all. We still have another ult ultimate membership box left. So what we'll do is we'll also open that one up quickly. Now, if you excuse me, I'll kill both of these guys in a single attack! And won't you look at that, seems like somehow the tiny girl in the back has survived. Oh yeah, I forgot to attack it, well. So once we do this, we can unlock the last month's membership box, which I do believe is November. Or is it September? I don't know, I don't remember the months, do you? Wait, no, I should remember. Uh, okay, after we finish off this monster, we will check out the la previous month's membership box. The ultimate membership box. Who in the world said 5 times 7 is 35? Who? Tell me who! Oh my god, imagine if 5 times 7 was 75. I seriously don't get it. How do people manage to do that type of maths? Like, what's going on everyone? One Dr. Genius here, and welcome back to the Prodigy video. And before we get this video started, just a quick... Dis